Hi everyone, Kristen Roberts with United Way of East Central Iowa. If you've been following our Connecting Communities series, you know over the past few months we are taking month by month something that came out of our community impact assessment from last year. That's when we dove in deep and researched what our community is facing. It wasn't surprising that affordable housing, childcare, safety net services, and access to health care came back as the top challenges. And in fact, it actually reassured us because we were already starting to pivot toward that work. Today, we're going to be looking at access to health care. A large component of this topic includes mental health, and it's not surprising when you think about what we've gone through through the last two years with both the pandemic and the derecho. Foundation Two, that's the organization that handles the mental health crisis line in our area, they received over 70,000 phone calls to the crisis line last year. That's nearly three times more than the year before. What was also a large concern was just the ability to access health care. And by that, we mean public health insurance. Did you know that public health insurance is not widely accepted by providers within our community, with dental being the leading issue? The research is clear the importance in preventative health in all types of healthcare services. So when 16% of the population across all five counties that we serve use public health insurance, but can't get the appointments or the preventative appointments, that really just prevents the ability for preventative health care, and it ends up making sure that emergencies and other health care costs just really start to create a chain reaction. Additionally, if a family even does have health insurance, it's the prohibitive costs of prescriptions and co-pays that they're worried about. When you're trying to work multiple jobs, put food on the table, and walk that tightrope of life, sometimes a very expensive prescription or an unexpected copay can really throw off your month's budgeting and how you're going to pay the bills. It's these challenges that make not just healthcare, but specifically access to healthcare one of the challenges that our community is facing. And that, when you support United Way, is what you are supporting. Whether you volunteer, invest, or advocate with United Way, your gifts are helping create system-wide solutions so people in our communities can not only live, but thrive. So thank you so much for your support of United Way. You are truly appreciated and we are grateful for you. Have a great day and stay well.